your first yeah. one. Good morning, Blackman. Please stand for the allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The morning blaze will be right back after this moment of silence. Today is February uh, 14th, Thursday, 2019. I'm Nicole. I'm Bailey. And this is your Morning Blaze. Spring pictures will be taken on Thursday, February 28th. If you can plan on taking spring pictures, bring $5 deposit. This deposit will apply for your order. Announcements will be made to let you know when to come to the Ox Gym to have your picture taken. Any students interested in joining the Beta Club, please pick up the applications from Ms. Wilson in room G10 or Ms. Meadows in room F8. Rutherford County Schools are hosting a, a Spanish contest and this month at MTSU. If you're interested in this contest, contact Ms. Letzam at F1 for more information after lunch or during lunch or after school. Please do not forget to save your tabs for the Ronald McDonald House, uh, your box tops for Blackman Elementary School as well. Uh, Key, Key Club will be coming around to collect them. The football field and track area are off limits due to construction. No one is permitted in this area. <laughs> the Blackman Voice is selling ice scrapers for $4. If you would like to purchase one, see a Blackman Voice staffer or stop in D9. Seniors, don't forget to fill out your worth ethic forms and turn them into Ms. Casby in the front office. Be sure that they were required uh, attachments are uh, included. Due, this is due on March 20th. All students must come to the front office to retrieve lost items by Friday, February 15th. Lost and found items include coats, shoes, clothing, backpacks, lunch bags, and athletic wear. All unclaimed items will be donated at the end of the day on Friday. Friends of Rachel's Club is connecting and donating gently used formal wear to prom. This includes dresses, tuxes, shoes, and other accessories. Dresses should be cleaned with no rips or stains. You can drop these off in the main office with Miss Cook in, the, in room C20. Starts next week and during through March 30th. And now to dig in with the weather. Right now it's 53 and it feels like 49 with a wind of 14 miles per hour and a humidity of 42%. Throughout the week we're going to have a highs of 40s and 50s and the lows of 50s and 30s. After school it's going to feel like 57 and cloudy and we'll be right back after this short message. Hey bro, no hip the home. Hey man, that was last year. Do you love me? Are you riding? Oh, I never learned anything from the Chinese. Are you right? Yo, hey, just keep it down a little bit, all right? Oh, my fault, all right. We're gonna be late to third period. I know, I had to grab my book. Okay, let's go. Calm down and keep it down. You can wear your headphones in the hallway, but calm down and keep it down. And now to Luke with.
right, finally we got some sports. All right, uh, in boys basketball, Blackman plays the winner of Laverne versus Smyrna tonight at 7.30 at Smyrna. Uh, in girls basketball, Blackman plays in the district semifinals Saturday at 6.30 at Smyrna. And in NHL, the Preds play the Mont uh, play Montreal tonight at Bridgestone at 7. And in uh, NCAA basketball, number one, Tennessee beats South Carolina. And number five, Kentucky will be playing number one, Tennessee. It's this Saturday at 7 on ESPN. That will be a big game. And now back to Bailey and Nicole. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Russ, Colin Hughes, Drew Beam, Sophia Rupp, Aiden Bennett, and Sutanali Philum. Please follow us on our YouTube channel at BSPN32. Have a great day. We, we are, are Blackman. Blackman. Racial tension in Columbia, Tennessee have gone to a point that most citizens of both races can live with. On February 25th, 1946, that all changed when a black man and his mother went to a radio repair shop to pay for work done and got into an altercation with a white clerk that led to the clerk being thrown through a store window. The resulting arrest of a man and his mother caused a mob of angry white people to gather outside the Murray County Courthouse just a block from the segregated business area in Columbia. Over the next 24 hours, a riot broke out that left four police officers shot and 100 blacks arrested. Homes and businesses of blacks in the downtown area were broken into and looted of cash, guns, and anything worth stealing. 25 blacks were charged with shooting the white officers. Walter White and Thurgood Marshall of the NAACP came to the area to represent the accused in court. Tennessee attorneys Alexander Luby of Nashville and Maurice Weaver of Chattanooga provided assistance. Two of the men were found guilty, but only one ever received sentence. The one valid of conviction came in the second trial at Columbia in November. Boyd Kennedy was found guilty and served time in jail for shooting at a white highway patrolman. The Columbia riots helped create a base for which black organizations gathered strength for the civil rights push of the 1950s and 1960s. 